Okay, sociologist Okanaka sits on the review board tasked with adding new sites to the Hawaii Register of Historic Places, which includes Pilananahali Heiho and the Opaka Road Bridge. Okanaka doesn't make such decisions single-handedly, however. All historical designations must be approved by a group of nine other experts from the field of architecture, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So what's going on here? I've got a couple semicolon options and a couple commas or no commas, right? Let's, what's going on? Okinaga doesn't make such decisions single-handedly. That's going to be an independent clause, okay? And then whether however is before or after the comma or the semicolon, all historical designations must be approved by a group of nine other experts. That's an independent clause. So these comma, however, commas, or no punctuation, these can't be right. Those would be a comma splice and a run on, respectively. So that's not correct. I'm going to need a semicolon between the two independent clauses. So does my however come before or after? Normally, we see semicolon however. I'm sure everybody's seen that before, right? Comma. Oh, that's typical, right? Very typical, very normal. Not the case here, though, I think, right? Okinawa doesn't make such decisions single-handedly, however. The however is contrasting that she doesn't make the decisions single-handedly. And then after the semicolon, we're going to get that contrast. So I think the however, comma, however, it's not this typical setup. It's going to be the comma, however, semicolon. That goes with the first clause. Again, these boundary questions. It's really important to figure out where the boundaries are for your know, conjunctive adverb in this case and the semicolon. In this case, I'm putting the however before, not after as we normally do. And we'll see questions like this a lot. So B, I don't think it's going to be right because I think the second sentence then just simply says, all historical designations must be approved by a group. I wouldn't say however, all historical designations must be approved by a group of nine others. So you would say she makes the decision single-handedly and then say, however, all designations. No, she doesn't make her decisions single-handedly, however. And then you would say all historical designations must be approved by a group. A is the correct answer for 13.